Hey guys, iPhone New here, and in today's app review, I'm reviewing Synex Player for the iPad, and I'm also going to show you how to transfer your video files onto your iPad really quickly with this application. Alright, Synex Player costs $2.99 in the App Store. It's absolutely the best way to transfer movies or videos onto your iPad really quickly, and you don't have to use the whole video movie format that iTunes makes you have in order to transfer your video. You can basically do XVID, AVI, 3GP, and a couple other video formats onto your iPad. So here I have three of my videos and well the user interface is very intuitive and simple so you guys shouldn't have any problems working with this application. We have edit right here to edit our folders. You can rename them, make a new folder, or delete one. You can see my folder right here, it's called Uncatalogued. Then you have your two different views, Grid and List. You can search for movie or video. And then you have your settings. You have your subtitle text size, which you can adjust. You can also convert 2D movies into 3D with an in-app purchase, which is really nice, really cool. You can also connect it to your TV through a VGA cable, which you can buy at Apple or Best Buy. And then your information. So if you swipe right to left on a video, you get your little pop-up here, which you can move, rename, and delete the video. It's a little bit hard to get to open up. You might accidentally open up the movie itself, but just swipe right to left. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at a video, see how it works. It resumes where you finished off. You can go to your favorite part, pause it, rewind, fast forward, you have your captions, you can also share it with Facebook. You can do full screen, again connect it to your TV, and then you have your 3D which you have to buy. So it's really nice. Also, since you don't have your status bar, you can view your battery right there, right there, and you have your time, all that. So this is a nice, nice app. Very clean and elegant, you know, very sophisticated. So let's go ahead and look at the other video. Let's fast forward a bit. And it supports HD Movie 720p. I think it's an excellent app. I think you guys should go and check it out. So let's switch to my computer so I can show you guys how to transfer it onto your iPad. Alright, so here we are on our computer. Open up iTunes, connect your iDevice, and make sure you can recognize it. So then it should come up under here where it says Devices. Click on it. Go to your Apps window, and then scroll down to where you see File Sharing. Here you have all the apps listed that can transfer documents between your iPad and your computer. Select Snex Player, and these are all the documents you have on it. So these are all AVI files if you're wondering. Go down here to where it says Add, and just browse for the movie or video file. Doesn't matter how big it is, I I basically uh, transferred a two hour movie in one minute, so I believe this app is very good and very nice. We're going to do the smart cover review and open it up. Should come up here. You can see it's transferring at the top and it also is transferring on here. See how quick it is? It's already done and it shows up right here. So, wow. There we go. Isn't that quick? And oh, my volume's down. Smart cover for the iPad 2. Now the smart cover comes in two different materials. Um, there's a problem sometimes that persists. Some people have this problem, and that's. So there you go. And if you want to delete it, you can do it through your computer or through your iPad. Let me see and show you here. Let's let's say I want to delete this. Let's. Oh no. No 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 no. no. Okay, there we go, we open it up, we're going to delete it, and you can see it's going to delete it there as well, so I'm not sure if you guys can see, but delete, delete, wait for it, it's this one, there we go, it's absolutely gone, and yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful, if you do, please subscribe and also favorite, thumbs up, 
and comment down below if you have any questions or just comments. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye.